10 High Protein Low Fat Foods That All Gym People Need in Their Diet If you are among active individuals seeking the best results from your exercise routine, diet, and lifestyle, the right balance of protein, carbohydrates, and low fat foods are key factors that can provide you with the right nutrients and the most energy with few negative effects. Proteins are especially important for gym goers because they're essential for building and repairing muscles and maintaining glycogen levels that support energy. That's why you probably overheard fellow gym members talking about their high protein, low fat foods. When you start a workout regimen, many concerns will come up. Will you be able to maintain muscle mass at a calorie deficit? Is it possible to maintain, gain muscle while losing fat? How do you maximize your performance at the gym? And on many days you will find yourself wondering how to recover from that muscle soreness as fast as possible. The answer to all these questions is protein. High protein foods are very filling, they help build muscle. Reduce cravings and fire up weight loss. Proteins are the most essential macronutrient for gym goers. In contrast, high fat foods can slow down digestion and make food sit in your stomach for too long especially just before a workout. Breakfast is extremely important to pump you full of energy at the beginning of your day. Complex carbohydrates, lean protein, healthy fats, and a variety of fruits and vegetables can all help boost energy and maximize nutrient levels. The most important macros to include in your breakfast, however, are proteins and complex carbohydrates. Foods that support healthy brain functions should be a staple in every healthy diet. The best brain foods are those rich in omega-3 fatty acids. Antioxidants. These include wild-caught salmon, blueberries, nuts and seeds and avocados. If so, your body may be missing a substance called creatine to help top up energy levels. Creative is also leaked out of the muscles during workouts. This increases a condition called delayed onset muscle soreness DOMS. Creatine is found in high-protein foods such as red meat or in protein powders. 3 to 5 grams before and after working out provides that extra boost of energy. If you have been doing your fitness research, odds are you have heard about the importance of protein from every single source. Many exercisers, especially those focusing on weight training, consume large amounts of protein in every meal. This probably left you wondering about your protein needs. The average adult needs at least 1 gram per pound of body weight. For example, if you weigh 175 pounds, you need between 140 to 227 grams of protein per day. Eating high protein foods increases the number of calories your body naturally burns each day and is the key factor in preserving lean muscle while burning fat. During workouts, small tearing occurs in your muscles. So you need the amino acids in protein to repair and rebuild those muscles. And that's how they become bigger and stronger. If this damage is not repaired, the body will use muscle tone and bone minerals to substitute. So instead of losing fat, you end up losing muscle mass. In a medium saucepan with a lid, bring 1 cup quinoa, 2 cups of water and 1 half teaspoon salt to a boil. Cover and reduce to a simmer. Cooking about 20 minutes or according to package directions until quinoa is light and fluffy. Turn off heat and let sit for at least 5 minutes covered before serving. Right before serving mix in the cucumbers, tomatoes, onions, basil and lemon zest. Meanwhile, make the salmon. In a small bowl combine salt, pepper cumin and paprika. Line a sheet pan or glass dish with foil and lightly grease with olive oil or non-stick cooking spray. Transfer salmon fillets to pan. Evenly coat the surface of each fillet with about one half teaspoon of the spice mixture. Broil on high with the rack placed in the lower third of the oven for 8 to 10 minutes. Or until salmon is cooked and flakes apart easily with a fork. Sprinkle with parsley and serve with roasted lemon wedges and vegetable quinoa. Your workout regimen can only do so much alone. A smart eating plan has to go hand in hand with your exercise to ensure that your gym efforts front go to waste. A healthy diet plan that is full of high protein, low fat foods will help you maintain muscle mass, increase energy levels, recover quickly, stay full longer and lose that stubborn fat. Armstrong. R. B. 1984. Mechanisms of Exercise Induced Delayed Onset Muscular Soreness, A Brief Review. Medicine and Science in Sports and Exercise. 16, 6, 529-38 in. Belnave, C. D. and Thompson, M. W. 1993 Effects of Training on Eccentric Exercise Induced Muscle Damage. Journal of Applied Physiology. 75, 4, 
1545-51. Julie McCormick Julie McCormick is a writer and co-owner of the Cleveland Leader, a Technorati Top 1000 site. Read full profile. Have you ever noticed that some people are able to effortlessly remember even the most mundane details and quickly comprehend new things? Well, you can too. Learning how to improve memory isn't as difficult as you might think. To unlock the full potential of your brain, you need to keep it active and acute. Wasting time on your couch watching mindless television shows or scrolling through social media is not going to help. Besides getting out flashcards, what can you do to help remember things better and learn new things more quickly? Check out these 10 effective strategies on how to improve memory. Physical activities don't just exercise the body, but it also helps to exercise your brain. Obesity and the myriad of diseases that eventually set in as a result of being overweight can cause serious harm to the brain. So when learning how to improve memory, exercise is king. Furthermore, without regular exercise, plaque starts to build up in your arteries, and your blood vessels begin to lose the ability to regulate blood flow. Plaque buildup reduces the amount of oxygen and nutrients that your blood carries to your brain. When the nutrients don't make it there, the brain's ability to function is compromised. One study in particular found that exercising four hours after learning significantly improved memory retention. The researchers suggested that appropriately timed physical exercise can improve long-term memory and highlight the potential of exercise as an intervention in educational and clinical settings. To improve your memory. Make sure you get moving every day. Even if it's just a brisk walk. It'll help you maintain and increase your mental acuity. Brisk walking, swimming, and dancing are all excellent activities. If you have trouble finding time to fit in a workout, check out this article, 5 Ways to Find Time for Exercise. Any risk factors that cause you major stress, like anger or anxiety, will, in time, begin to eat away the parts of your brain that are responsible for memory. Amongst the most brain-damaging stressors is depression, which is actually often misdiagnosed as a memory problem since one of its primary symptoms is the inability to concentrate. One study assessed memory in 3,999 veterans and found that depressive symptoms, without anxiety, had an adverse effect on immediate recall of new information and the total amount, but not rate, of acquisition. If you can't concentrate, then you might feel like you are constantly forgetting things. Depression increases the levels of cortisol in your bloodstream, which elevates the cortisol levels in the brain. Doctors have found that increased cortisol diminishes certain areas of the brain, especially the hippocampus, which is where short-term memories are stored. Prolonged depression can thus destroy your brain's ability to remember anything new. Seek professional help to combat your depression and any stressors causing it, your brain will thank you. Getting a consistent 7 to 8 hours of sleep each night will help you in your task of learning how to improve memory. During sleep, the brain firms up memories of recently acquired information. Especially during REM sleep. Getting enough sleep will help you get through the full spectrum of nocturnal cycles that are essential to optimal brain and body functioning during the waking hours. On the contrary, sleep deprivation can put a huge dent in your ability to form memories. Another helpful strategy is to take a nap during the day especially after learning something new. This can also help you to retain those memories, as well as recharge your brain and keep it sharper longer. However, the length of your nap is also very important. Scientists, in one study, found that people who napped for 30 to 90 minutes experienced better word recall. 50 to 60 percent of the brain's overall weight is pure fat, which is used to insulate its billions of nerve cells. The better insulated a cell is, the faster it can send messages and the quicker you can think. This is precisely why parents are advised to feed their young children whole milk and to restrict dieting. Their brains need fat to grow and work properly. Skimping on fats can be devastating, even to the adult brain. Thus, eating foods that contain a healthy mix of fats is vital for long-term memory. Some excellent food choices include fish, especially anchovies, mackerel, and wild salmon, and dark, leafy green vegetables. Deep-fried foods obviously contain fat but their lack of nutritional value is not going to help your brain or your body. So think healthy foods and fats first. According to Larry McCleary, MD, author of the Brain Trust Program, an egg is the ideal breakfast. Eggs contain B vitamins, which help nerve cells burn glucose, antioxidants that protect neurons against damage, and omega-3 fatty acids that keep nerve cells firing at optimal speed. If you want to learn how to improve memory, 
Breakfast is incredibly important. Other foods to add to your breakfast include fruits, veggies, and lean proteins. Avoid trans fats and high fructose corn syrup. Trans fats diminish the brain cell's ability to communicate with each other. And one study found that HFCS can actually damage the brain by promoting brain insulin resistance. Having a healthy breakfast in the morning has been shown to improve performance throughout the day. Don't skimp on this important meal. Nowadays, it's fairly uncommon to write down notes with a pen and paper. When we go to class or meetings, we take our laptops and use that to mark down important ideas. However, Recent research has suggested that may be doing us more harm than good. One 2014 study found that, even when laptops are used solely to take notes, they may still be impairing learning because their use results in shallower processing. You can start a journal, write yourself emails, or even start keeping a blog. All of these activities will help to improve your capacity to remember and memorize information. Most importantly, if you're going to class or to a big meeting, Consider taking notes by hand instead of on your computer. Research shows that certain types of music are very helpful in recalling memories. Information that is learned while listening to a particular song or collection can often be recalled by thinking of the song or playing it mentally. Songs and music can serve as cues for pulling up particular memories. If you're looking into learning how to improve memory, this can be a great thing to try. Listening to music has been shown to specifically benefit the memorization of words. One study found that young adults who listen to music while memorizing a list of words, as opposed to listening to environmental sounds or silence, performed better when asked to recall the words. Next time you have to memorize a speech of want to compete in a spelling bee, try listening to music while studying. You may be surprised by how much it helps. Pay attention to photographers, charts and other graphics that might appear in your textbook, or if you're not studying a book. Try to pull up a mental image of what it is you are trying to remember. It might also help to draw your own charts or figures. Or utilize colors and highlighters to group related ideas in your notes. Another strong visualization technique for memory is the memory palace. This essentially involves imagining a place you know well, your house or a former school. For example, listing distinctive features of the place in your mind. And begin to associate those features with things you want to remember. Then. When you need to recall information, you simply go the specific room or object where you stored the information in your mind, and it will come to you. For more information on how to build a memory palace, check out this article, How to Build a Memory Palace to Remember More of Everything. Reading material out loud has been shown to significantly improve memory of the material. Expanding further upon this idea is the fact that psychologists and educators have found that by having students teach new concepts to others. It helps to enhance understanding and recall. One study pointed out that this increased memory specifically because it forced students to recall the information in order to teach it. Teach new concepts and information to a friend or study partner. And you'll find you remember the information a lot better. Studies have shown that doing crossword puzzles, reading, or playing cards on a daily basis helps to delay memory loss. Especially in those who experience cognitive decline in the form of dementia. So. Pick up the daily newspaper and work on that crossword puzzle. Read a book. Or enjoy a game of solitaire if you want to boost your memory. Everyone has the ability to learn how to improve memory and boost their brain power. And everyone will find that different strategies work for them. Try out some of the above in order to get a feel for what works for you. Current biology, physical exercise performed 4 hours after learning improves memory retention and increases hippocampal pattern similarity during retrieval archives of clinical neuropsychology, the effects of depression and anxiety on memory performance sleep medicine, memory, sleep and dreaming, experiencing consolidation Johns Hopkins medicine, can a nap boost brain health. Current neuropharmacology, impact of dietary fats on brain functions nutrients, dietary omega-3 fatty acid deficiency and high fructose intake in the development of metabolic syndrome. Brain metabolic abnormalities. And non-alcoholic fatty liver disease psychological science, the pen is mightier than the keyboard, advantages of longhand over laptop note-taking music I science I, the positive effect of music on source memory applied cognitive psychology, the learning benefits of teaching, a retrieval practice hypothesis J in neurocycle SOC, association of crossword puzzle participation with memory decline in persons who develop dementia. Text source, lifehack.org.